don't believe in depression. Don't message me about depression because I don't believe in it. If you're asleep in your bed in the middle of the night and you hear a noise and you believe in ghosts, now you're afraid. I mean, talk about comparable. If you're going to compare any two things in the world, depression and ghosts, they're practically the same thing. So boys, what's going on? Welcome to today's video. Andrew Tate ever heard of him he's an alpha chad mate he's he's been all over tiktok i can't get him out of my tiktok feed because everyone's just eating whatever he says up and crowning him as the ultimate chad but before we do get into today's video boys if you could leave a like and subscribe i would appreciate that we're on the way to 1.5k subscribers so i appreciate any support i can get but without further ado if you couldn't tell we're looking at Andrew Tate today, the man, the myth, the legend, the fucking beast, mate. Everyone loves him, including myself. I agree with pretty much everything he says. No sarcasm whatsoever. So basically, to give some context to who Andrew Tate is, is this guy that's been around for quite a few years, honestly, on the internet, over 10 plus years. And not even just the internet, just in public spaces in general. He's been on things like Big Brother, Survivor. So he's a mixture of an internet celebrity and reality TV, but he's also extremely rich. Just this. I have no earthly idea. You don't know. You know why you don't know? Because you don't think. And his whole internet personality, what he does and why he's famous on TikTok, is he basically just preaches non-stop. That's all he does. Gives long-winded speeches about how to be more alpha, how to improve yourself, how to become rich, how to not care, how to get women. Like, it's... He's basically Jesus at this point. And obviously, with how easy shit is to blow up on TikTok nowadays, this man is everywhere. Every clip I see of him has at least a million likes. And I wish I was joking. Breathe air! You don't need a vape! Have you ever seen anyone with a vape? Have you ever, have you ever sat in a room? So we go, wait, oh, let me just go... My vape's done charging. Load it up. And then some motherfucker's like, oh, oh, it's bad for me. Duh. What the fuck? How are people surprised by this shit? And now they're all over Twitter and on the news. Maybe we should do something about it. No, don't do anything. If you're so fucking stupid, it didn't cross your mind at some point that permanently sucking on this vape was going to damage you in some way. You deserve what happens to your dumb ass. You know what? In all honesty, I agree with Mr. Tate there. That's a a perfect take but on the real i do agree i think vaping is like the gayest thing you can do anyone that's walking around with a vape like you see the people with the rgb colored ones just being like look at me i'm cool guys and they're in like their 30s they look cringe i mean shit you even see like 12 year olds doing it nowadays vapings were originally supposed to be a way to help people stop smoking a passageway into stop quitting smoking but i ain't got fucking 12 year olds doing it without even smoking so it's just like it just looks gay. So right there, that was one of many fucking amazing takes from Andrew the God Tate right there. Literally, this guy could be a monk. He's bold. Fuck it, Andrew, mate. Go into the monk lifestyle. Start calling your brother Tate. Fucking perfect. And what kind of parent lets their 16-year-old vape anyway? If I had a 16-year-old son, he's like, I'll go to vape. Get the fuck out of here, vape. Do some push-ups. You ain't got time to vape. That is so true. I ever catch my son vaping, I'll fucking beat the fuck out of it. Vaping? Who the, f who the fuck do you think you are? Do some fucking push-ups, mate. So if you couldn't tell, Andrew Tate's whole shtick, gimmick, whatever you want to call it, is saying pretty reasonable things half the time, apart from the first clip. But the way he does it, is he explains it in a very extreme way to get attention and eyes on him, which is actually pretty fucking smart. I mean, there's a reason he's a millionaire. What's I that? decided... I didn't even decide, I realized yesterday that I can actually, genuinely, right now, nothing is stopping me from becoming Batman. Nothing. I have a Batcave. Okay, yep. I have an Alfred. Okay. I have a Batmobile, a Bugatti. Yep. I can fight. Yep. Rich as fuck. Okay, so that one, I have an issue with Tate because you're, you're quite fucking wrong on that one, okay? If we're getting into Batman lore, Batman, or Bruce Wayne, was valued at a net worth of 100 billion. Your net worth, as of 2022, is 30 million. So, Tate, that's your first L right there, mate. Get fucked. Imagine not knowing your Batman lore, okay? Imagine having a life. What's wrong with you? You don't think most women can actually genuinely understand how lonely the majority of men are. Yeah. And you need, you need to truly understand, if you're Joe Schmo, <laughs> average in nearly every way, in Starbucks working, you ain't getting a DM ever. But you girls, you girls, as much as you might be unhappy with the possible suitors, 
You can at least fuck about and flirt if you feel sad. There are men out here in the world who have genuine loneliness. And, and I can prove this statistically. Why do you think it's all the- Okay, no, I actually agree with him on that one. Men's suicide isn't taken anywhere near as serious as it should be. And that's what I'm talking about with this guy. He has good takes sometimes. It's just his extreme takes where he's quite obviously baiting and trying to get attention that makes people hate him. Like, I genuinely like the guy. Obviously, he has some pretty retarded takes. But then again, we all do. We're humans. We're all retarded. I got straps in my wardrobe. Look in the wardrobe. Show the wardrobe. What suit am I gonna wear? What fucking god? What the tea? Like that. I'm gonna say it right here in case the police roll up. You're not allowed guns in the rain. Uh, uh, right then, Andrew, eh? Yeah. If you're not allowed guns in Romania, you might want to maybe just take that part out of the fucking video because you kind of just exposed yourself there, mate. Was that the first Andrew Tate dumb moment? Surely not. The guy's a fucking genius. It, it, it could... He could never possibly have a dumb moment. It's just fucking impossible. So, taking a step away from the clips for a moment, this guy's also in quite the um, scamming side of things. That's all I'm going to say. And the reason I call it a scam is because this website right here is his. It's, in his words, the secret to making money online. The secret to becoming rich online. So, let's take a little read of it. Welcome to Oslo's University 2.0, a community where me and dozens of war room soldiers will teach you exactly how to make money. This is a community where you will have access to stock analysis, option plays, crypto analysis, defy or defy, I don't know how you fucking pronounce that, e-commerce, copywriting, freelancing, flipping, financial planning, business managing, and more. Every professor is verified by me personally. Oh my gosh, it's got the Andrew Tate approval. You should buy it. You should fucking pay for it. Throw 50 quid at him. Fuck it. It's got the Andrew Tate approval. It it's got to be legit, right? Now, we've seen multiple of these types of websites pop up on the internet before. Jake Paul did one about four years ago where he was saying, Guys, drop out of school and sign up to my course. I'll teach you how to become a famous influencer. And then he deleted the website about a few months later after he got all the money. And that's basically what this is. There is no way that you can teach people this easily how to become rich and famous through a fucking online course. If that was the case, everyone in the world would be rich. The Hustlers University website has a trailer, so obviously we've got to react to it. Come on, we can't not. I get called Morpheus a lot. I get called Morpheus all the time in my DMs because I'm trying to wake people up. If the Matrix is real and you are watching this video, I am Morpheus. I am the guy trying to wake you up from slavery. I get messages all the time. And the most common message I get from people is, hey, Tate, you know, once I've paid my mortgage off, I think I'll be in a position where I feel more financially free. I feel like, you know what I need? I need a weapon knife through the screen. I can You want to learn piano you find someone who can learn piano you learn from them and you start training it's a fucking discord server oh my fucking god this is worse than i thought it would be guys i don't know if you all knew but discord is definitely the place where you can learn how to make money there's definitely not just a bunch of fucking basement dwelling losers on that. Anyone that buys this and actually falls for it, I'm sorry. But if you get scammed, you cannot be surprised. There's no way people are actually falling for this. And notice how it's Hustlers University 2.0. He's probably done this before. And everyone that paid for the first one probably got scammed. It, it wouldn't surprise me. So to conclude off this video, the whole point of this video is... Just because someone claims to be alpha and rich and they claim to be able to make everyone rich and they try and dictate how you live your life doesn't mean they're a trustworthy person and you should believe them. He's funny, he's a funny guy, I can admit that. But do you really think he's going to be able to make everyone that signs up to that program rich? And if you're watching this video and you have fell for it and you have bought it, tell me if you're rich yet, please tell me. And tell me how long you've been subscribed to it because I'm, I'm genuinely curious. It's going to be it for me for today's video, boys. I appreciate you for watching. As I said, be sure to leave a like and subscribe on the way to 1.5k subscribers. And yeah, see you in the next one, boys. Join my Discord. Join my Reddit. Follow my Twitter. Make me famous so I can be like Andrew Tate. Peace out, people. Goodbye. If I could take you up in paradise, I'd If you would tell me I'm the only one that you